I'm Kelsey with M. Bloomfelt Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to make four types of winter stems, a felt pine stem, felt holly, dusty miller, and a felt mistletoe. You can find the PDF and SVG for this pattern in my Etsy shop, but this video will show you the assembly. Instead of running through all of the materials right now for all of them, I'll go through materials for each one before we make each stem. Let's get started. The materials needed for your felt pine stem are felt in a shade of green, 18 gauge brown or green floral wire for your stem, fabric scissors and wire cutters, hot glue gun and hot glue. The first stem we're going to make is the felt pine stem, which looks like this. You can put this on a green or brown wire, but I'm going to make mine on brown today. So go ahead and take your 18 gauge wire and your cut piece and line it up about halfway up that second spike. And what we're going to do is add a little bit of glue down the wire, fold that first spike over and then hold it until it's dry. And this will hide the wire and then we can continue wrapping the rest of the felt. So now we're going to take the rest of this felt and start wrapping it about at a diagonal spiral down the length of the stem. So the trick here is just to keep that even as you wind down. Um, and I recommend practicing before you start adding glue, just like I'm doing now, and until you get the hang of it. So now I'm going to start wrapping it just like that down the wire. And I'm going to add glue uh, about every inch or so. You don't need to add glue the whole length, but every so often uh, should do the trick. Okay, and when you reach the end, you just secure it with a little bit of glue. Hold that until it's dry. And you've made a felt pine stem. The materials needed for a felt holly stem are felt in a shade of green, extra small red half inch palms, 22 gauge wire, fabric scissors, wire cutters, floral tape, a hot glue gun, and hot glue. The second stem we'll make today is the felt holly stem, which looks like this. For this, I included two leaf sizes on the template. This is the large size, uh, which we'll be using to make the holly, but I included a small because I thought variety would be good in case you wanted to mix that up on a different kind of stem. So for this one, you'll need four 22 gauge wires and what we're going to do is split the first one into four inch sections minus 16 inches so it works pretty well uh, four to five inches and we're going to attach the red palm berries onto each one of these short stems snip a small hole into your palm fill it with glue and then attach them to the stems Now we're going to attach your holly leaves onto stems and for this I'm going to keep my stems long because they are 22 gauge wire which means that they're pretty bendy and they wouldn't stand up alone in a vase. But when I have all three of my leaves ready to go I'm going to tape them together and that will create one sturdy stem. So center your stem in the center of the leaf almost to the top. Add a line of glue and fold your leaf over, keeping it in this folded over position until the glue has fully dried. Repeat that with your next two leaves.
Now we're going to tape our felt palm berries onto each leafy stem. So hold two of them together. And this one is very close to the bottom of the leaf. That's just the spot, I like it. And I'm going to take some floral tape, rip off a small section. And I'm going to tape these two stems together. So to get my tape very secure, I always loop around tightly a few times until I feel like my tape is not going to slip. And then I start moving down the stem. I'm just going to tape down a few inches and then stop because eventually I'll be taping all of these together. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it right there. And repeat with the next two leaves and berries. Okay, so now I'm going to take a longer piece of tape and then I'm going to tape three of these stems together. So what I'm doing first is just positioning them to see where I want them to be. I have one in the center, one off to the left side, and then one just a little bit lower off to the right hand side. Okay. I think that looks nice, so I'm going to glue my first two together, or tape my first two together, sorry. And then as I work my way down with the tape, I'll add that third stem on. Continue taping your stems all the way down, further past the point where you plan on clipping them. And you'll clip the wire about one inch above where your tape stops, just to keep that tape from unraveling. Move each individual leaf and berry around. And that is your felt holly stem. Dusty Miller. For this, you'll need a shade of blue or silver, fabric scissors, 18 gauge wire, wire cutters, a hot glue gun, and hot glue. The third stem is Dusty Miller, which is a really nice winter filler stem all by itself in a vase or as a filler flower. I provided two different leaf styles on the template, uh, but they're both made exactly the same way. Just thought it would be nice to have some variety. So for this, what we're going to do is add our leaf to a stem and then we will wrap the stems with felt. This is the color Rainstorm from Benzi. Um, Dusty Miller in real life is like a light blue, silver color. Um, so any of those shades would be fine. And what you'll do for this is take a 22 gauge wire, place it down the center of your leaf, and then we will fold it over and glue just like we did with the holly leaves. So let's get started with that step. When your glue has dried, you could go ahead and open up that leaf. And then you could stop here with the stem like this, or we can wrap it with felt, um, which is what I did on my examples. I think it makes it, the leaf look a little bit more realistic. And to do that, you'll cut two thin strips or one longer strip of felt in the same color, and then we'll start gluing it on. Okay, when you start gluing on your strip of felt, 
overlap the bottom of the leaf just a little bit, and then we'll start gluing in a downward, spi in a downward spiral, adding glue as we go. And then when you reach the end, you can use your wire cutters to clip the wire, glue that last little bit of felt, and then cut off the excess. And here is your Dusty Miller stem. So one trick I've learned too, if you feel like you want this to open up a little bit more, is to put something flat over it uh, with a weight and you can spray it with fabric stiffener and then just let it set for a couple of hours and then um, it'll be a lot more flat, especially if you spray it with fabric stiffener. Um, but there is your Dusty Miller stem. The fourth and final stem I'll show you is felt mistletoe. For this, you'll need three shades of green, 18 gauge wire, eight extra small half inch white palms, floral tape, fabric scissors, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, twine or ribbon, a hot glue gun, and hot glue. The fourth and final item we'll be making is felt mistletoe, which looks like this. So you can make this all in one shade of green, but I'm using three shades of green, which I think looks nice and um, I've separated all of my mistletoe leaves into three piles. I have pre-cut 18 gauge wire. You'll need eight stems and these are about six and a half inches long. Um, I just cut them um, to about the length that I know it's going to be to make it easier. And what we'll do is add our leaves onto each stem, three leaves to a stem, and you can add these in any order, any color, um, mix it up, mix up the shapes. Uh, but we'll, all we're going to do is do three leaves to a stem until all of the stems are completed. So let's get started with that. Also, I'm starting where this is the bottom of my stem. And then I'm going to work my way up with three leaves. You'll need to snip a hole through the leaves that have two leaves attached and three leaves attached and thread it through. I'll show you what each of those looks like too. So here's the three leaf stem. And the trick here is just to evenly space your three leaves. Add a little bit of glue to each leaf. And let's do a two leaf stem next. Okay, that's one down and seven to go. Once again, you can add these leaves in any order as long as they're equally distributed. Okay, now set aside your eight stems and then we'll attach our um, small white palms onto 22 gauge wire. These can be about two to three inches long and attach one to each side.
So I'm going to wrap one towards the bottom on two of them, one more towards the top, and then another about in the middle. So two at the bottom, one at the top, and one in the middle. So take your 22 gauge wire and then pinch it with your index finger and thumb, and then we're going to wrap that wire around tightly uh, several times until it's equal. So wrapping it as tightly as you can, and then you can use your needle nose pliers, which I recommend to pinch that wire and just make sure it's, it's on there tightly and not going to budge. Now I'm going to position my leaves like I'm looking at it from the front. Two on the sides, one at the top. So I'm just getting them about where I want them. I'm going to, I have one leaf that doesn't have berries in between. So here's how I have it, just to recap. Berries on the bottom, leafy stem, berries on the top, leafy stem, berries on the bottom. And that's going to be the front of my mistletoe. Holding this together with my hands and now I'm going to add my berries to the back and fill it out in between with two more leafy stems, putting them on the back side. Once these are taped together, we can move our stems around too, but I like to get them in the general position first. Okay, and look at the heights on the bottom, make sure you like it. And then as you're holding this together, take a strip of floral tape and then bound the top of these stems tightly with your tape until it stays. As you pull on that tape, it will activate the wax and make it sticky. So I'm just looping around in the same spot several times. From here, you can move your stems and position them exactly where you want them. So now I think it's easiest to trim your stems now before you tie this with ribbon. It makes it a little bit easier. You can keep them long, but decide on the height that you want. I'm using my thicker wire cutters, but I could go one by one with my craft cutters too. This is just a little bit quicker for the video. And now you can use your twine, ribbon, string, whatever you want. I'm using this uh, pretty velvet green ribbon that I just got at the craft store. And what I'm going to do first is attach my loop with glue, and then I'm just going to tie a bow around it. And here is the completed mistletoe. Now you know how to make four types of felt winter stems. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most or how you plan on decorating with yours and follow along on my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for crafting with me.